Hey guys, today we're gonna to be talking about what's in my hospital bag. And I'm doing bunny ears because, or air quotes, because um, I'm actually not giving birth at a hospital. I did make a video on my birth plan. It's more of an outline, um, but you kind of stinky girl. So I will link you guys to that below if you wanna kinda of learn more about that, but I'm not giving birth at a hospital. Hopefully, if all goes, um, as I'd like it to, I will be giving birth at a birth center. So this video might be a little bit different because a lot of times you're in the hospital for a lot longer than you are a birth center. Uh, I think with a birth center, they try and get you out of there. Not that you can't stay longer if you need to, but they want you home with baby, relaxing, bonding. So kind of, I think after birth, you're out of there within four hours. So forgive me, I'm like so out of breath right now. I am almost 39 weeks pregnant and I should have filmed this video earlier because a lot of babies come earlier, but I've been so damn busy. So um, let's just jump right into it. I'm gonna try and breeze through this so it's not extremely long because I realized as I was uh, adding to my pile for this and for packing that I had more than I thought. <laughs> So um, first tip that I will give you that one of you gave me is let your partner, if you have one, pack your hospital bag for you because most likely they're going to be the ones going in and out of that bag trying to find you things that you're asking for. So if you pack it, they may not be able to find the things that you're looking for and that could just be kind of frustrating. So <laughs> with that being said, let's jump right into it. <clears throat> okay. So for me, because I am vlogging my hospital, not hospital, birth and birth center experience, I'm going to be bringing, here, where it is, um, I'm going to be bringing my vlog camera. I will link you guys to this. My vlog camera is always linked in the very bottom of every video description. So I will be bringing this. And most people are bringing a vlog camera or some sort of a camera. So make sure you bring um, your tripod that you're going to need. I'm going to be bringing two tripods. I'm gonna be bringing this one. This is actually what my camera is on right now. I have two, because I love this one so much. And then I will also be bringing a smaller little handheld little Joby. This can attach to things, which is pretty cool. So I'll be bringing that. And then also do not forget a camera battery and a battery charger for your batteries. I can't, I've watched so many vlogs and like birth vlogs and people just like their camera died and then it was them at home and they're like, oh, my camera died. So don't forget extra batteries, ways to charge those batteries. If you're able to definitely bring those. Which brings me to my next item. Uh, make sure you bring a extension cord. Who knows how far away the plug is going to be from you and you're gonna need to charge things. You're going to um, need to charge batteries possibly or your phones. So bring an extension cord with you. On that same note, bring a phone charger with you and make sure you have a very long cord. I saw this in a lot of birth bag videos because you are going to, again, not know how far you're going to need this guy to stretch. If you have the long extension cord, you might be okay, but I already have these with super long cords. So I don't know, just pack this in there so it's ready to go. I swear this might be that one thing that you left plugged in next to your bed and you're going to the hospital or the birth center and you're like, shit, man, I forgot my phone charger. So don't forget this guy. It is on silent. What is that noise? Where is that? Oh, it's my iPad. Okay, that brings me to entertainment and distractions. Bring your iPad. My laptop's actually charging right here, but I'm gonna be bringing my iPad as well as my um, computer because I'm gonna try and distract myself if, if that's gonna work for me. I don't know if it will, but I'm gonna be watching um, Netflix, Hulu. I mean, in my mind anyway, that's what I'll be doing. So I'm definitely gonna be packing my iPad and my laptop. Again, do not forget the chargers for these things because you're going to need them. Also, I just got this little sweater from Nick. How cute is this? It says MILF. I just spilled water on it. Like, oh, where was it? Right here before we started this video. So that's what that is. I'm like the messiest eater and drinker on the planet. I should probably be wearing a bib. 
but he was so cute. He like pulled this out and he like wrapped it and he was like, I have a gift for you for your labor bag. Like, when are you going to film that video? He wanted to like sneak in and give it to me on camera, but um, this is really sweet. Thanks, babe. Let's talk about some stuff for mom and baby. So <clears throat> we are going to be, this next item is uh, very important. It is, you're going to want to take notes. Uh, you're not going to want to miss this one, but baby's going to need a little sombrero to wear for some of her first pictures. So bring a sombrero. In the vein of Mexico and loving Mexico, <laughs> I will also be bringing a handle of tequila because a shot of tequila helps me relax and my doula said there's nothing wrong with it. So yeah, I'm gonna have a shot of tequila at some point while I'm in labor. And um, as long as I don't get super wasted and just have a little shot, I should be fine. So I thought it would take the edge off. I think it'll be good for Nick. It'll be good to celebrate. Hopefully she's coming on Cinco de Mayo. So we'll be prepared with our sombrero and our tequila. Good to go. I actually like the whole time this pregnancy, I was like, I swear I'm gonna have like a bar cart. So there's a martini ready to go. Like not a huge one, but like a little one. You know, um, alcohol definitely takes the edge off and I think it's a great tool if used properly. A couple of things that you're gonna wanna bring with you as well are snacks. I don't have my snacks packed yet cause I still need to put those together, but I do plan on bringing some Go Macro protein bars. Those are my favorite protein bars. I'm going to bring some protein shakes so I can put them in the fridge. Um, I don't know if like normal hospital births, like if they allow you to put things in a fridge or if you have to bring a cooler, I really don't know. Um, but I'm gonna bring some healthy snacks and I'm gonna bring some not so healthy snacks because after doing what I'm gonna do, I deserve some hot Cheeto fries. So I'll probably um, be nursing and spilling hot Cheeto fry crumbs on her head. It's cool, she will survive. She's been eating it throughout this pregnancy. She's gonna love it. Another thing that I'm gonna bring to the birth center and I don't think that you can do this at a hospital. So if you're giving birth at a birth center, this is something you probably wanna think about is I have been pre-cooking uh, items to have in my freezer here. So when I get home, I have them. And then also so that I can just grab it when we go to the birth center and I can just put it in the car and bring it. So I'm gonna bring, I'm actually gonna be making some split pea soup and I'm gonna be bringing that. That just sounds like something that hearty and yummy and delicious that I'm gonna wanna eat right after uh, delivery. So they will actually store it for me at the birth center and prepare it for me. So I'm pretty excited about that because I love freaking split pea soup. So just make sure you're covered in the food department because you're gonna, who knows how long you're gonna be there? Who knows how long your labor is gonna be? Um, just bring some of your favorite snacks and snacks for your partner as well and um, probably pack those together so you guys have a little bit of everything that you like. But it is, um, also a little bit different with a birth center, like birth centers do feel like you should eat a little bit here and there during labor. And a lot of times hospitals will discourage you from eating at all, I think, um, if I'm not mistaken. So check on that, but um, definitely make sure you're covered. It's better to have the snacks and not need them than to be starving and not really have anything to like satiate your hunger. Another thing that's a little bit different than not staying at a hospital and giving birth at a birth center is that I don't really need a whole lot of like skincare and hair care and body wash and things like that because I'm not really going to be using those things and taking a shower um, at the birth center. I'm gonna be kind of doing that when I get home. But because I do plan on hopefully having a little bit of makeup on when I give birth so that I look pretty in my little um, vlog and my pictures, I do plan on bringing this um, skin cleanser. This is the Glow Recipe Blueberry Bounce Gentle Cleanser. I just unearthed this from our garage. I don't know how long it has been in there, but it was in like packed in something and I love this stuff. So I'm bringing this um, or my Dermalogica one. This is already in here ready to be packed though. So it'll most likely be this one. Just in case after I've given birth, I'm just feeling like sweaty and gross or maybe like during labor, I'm like, ew, get this like fucking makeup off my face. Like if I feel that way, which I do a lot of times, I want to be able to get rid of it. So I'm going to be bringing some cleanser, but if you are going to be giving birth in a hospital, some things you might want to think about bringing are body wash, shampoo, conditioner, lotion, um, just anything that's going to make you feel comfortable, like your nighttime routine that you'll need, like a toothbrush, toothpaste, um, that sort of thing. 
Something that I'm gonna be bringing is an eye mask. This is literally the best eye mask I've ever used in my entire life. It blocks out every single speck of light there is in a room. Also leaves room for your eyelashes. So if you're gonna have like, you know, your eyelashes done for labor, um, then you'll be covered with this. So I'll link this for you guys below. I'll actually, I'm linking everything that I'm talking about below for you guys in the description box. So you can check it out there. But this, I swear by, this actually needs to be washed. Um, but I wear this almost every single night because I sleep with one of these every single night. But this is just a good distraction and a good way to kind of like drift off to labor land if you, you know, if there's any annoying lights or beeping, especially if you're in a hospital, I would highly recommend even earplugs as well. Or um, these guys, I bought these on Amazon because um, I'm super cheap and didn't feel like paying the price for the new AirPods. So I bought these. I've been using them for like a little bit now, so I don't know how great they are. We'll see, but these are um, wireless earbuds. So this is a really good thing to bring so that you have like your playlist that you're gonna listen to, which is another thing you need to prepare is a playlist, um, whatever, you know, try it out now. See what feels good. See what like helps you relax. Like for me, I tried to like do some, oh my gosh, talking is just like such a chore. It's making me so out of breath. Um, I made a playlist, uh, specifically for labor. That's like nature sounds and stuff like that. So I'll link you guys to that below. It's not, doesn't have a whole lot on it yet. Um, but it can be played on repeat cause it's like a babbling brook and like crickets and you know, that sort of thing. So definitely have a playlist ready to go. I've got a few like fun and like louder playlists as well that I'll keep, um, there. But I, I just think it's a really good idea to bring AirPod or, um, AirPods or, if you're cheap like me, <laughs> you can get something like this, but uh, just so you can block out everything around you, especially if you're in a hospital, you don't have to hear nurses talking about what they did last weekend or what they're doing this coming weekend or you know, hearing all the beeping and all the stuff like that. So just little ways that you can kind of transport yourself to whatever um, place in your mind is peaceful for you and will help you. On that same note, um, bring a speaker. Maybe you would like to share your tunes with um, your partner or just listen to it a little louder so you can still connect with them. Maybe you haven't gone into like super deep labor or like the transitional period where you're still able to like have conversations and stuff. So I grabbed this little guy. Um, I like this cause you can like hook it onto stuff super easily. Um, I have this all charged up, ready to go. So make sure all your stuff is charged like your, iPad, your um, bat your batteries, like everything. Make sure it's all charged. <sighs> this is a really good one. So I'm gonna be bringing this too. I brought my headphones more so if I wanna block everything out or my air, my like little earbuds, I got those in case I just wanna block everything out and, or I wanna listen to something silly that like I don't want anyone else to listen to or maybe I'm like listening to something that I don't want anyone to know I'm listening to. I don't know if that's gonna happen, but um, that's kind of the reason why I have those and why I'm also bringing this. <sighs> A couple other things to help transport you to another dimension of peace and tranquility, whatever that looks like for you. Um, I'm bringing a, an oil diffuser and I'll put that on the screen and show you. I didn't want to lug it all the way out here. It's also not dark enough to show you how cool this thing is. I got this on Amazon and I just love that it changes colors. And I was like, oh, I'm going to need to bring my oil diffuser, but it's like glass. So I don't know how we're going to bring it. And Nick was like, oh, they already have one at the birth center, which they do. But I was like, but does it glow and change colors? Because I love that shit. Like I love things that change colors. It's good. It's distracting. So I'm bringing that and then I'm also bringing lavender oil and clary sage. Supposedly this helps progress labor. Um, obviously I've never given birth before, so I don't know. I'm also bringing this aura spray. It is crystal infused mist and it's for birthing. So that's something I bring as well. And then from Sane Sense, I'm bringing this mask mist. It's rose. So these are just things to like make the room smell really good. I'm like really big into scents and how things smell. Um, that's like something that's super relaxing for me. So I definitely wanted to have like a little variety of oils. And I think my doula is also bringing oils. So I think we'll be set. More ambiance stuff. I'm going to be bringing these twist flame LED tea lights. 
I am going to probably like put these all over the room like it's some like romantic proposal. <laughs> um, I really like lights, so this is one thing I'm bringing. And then I'm bringing these, these are like little stars. Uh, I might bring some other lights too. I just haven't had time to look in the garage for them, but at least I have these, if nothing else. Like if I go into labor in the next hour, at least I'll have this ready to go. But these are just like little stars that light up. So I just kind of want to make it like whimsical and like like a little fairyland in there. Um, that's just super relaxing to me and peaceful. And it makes me feel at home. Speaking of oils, I'm going to be bringing some coconut oil. Uh, I have heard that this is really good for people to massage you, for your partner to massage you, for you to put um, on your hoo-ha down there to help uh, everything stretch out. Also, coconut oil is really good to put on your baby's bum before they take their first poop, which is meconium. Apparently that stuff is like really tarry, really sticky, really nasty, and it's much easier to get off and it doesn't stain the skin if you have a barrier of coconut oil. So any of you that have had children probably know what I'm talking about. Um, and I don't really know what I'm talking about, but I have read it and I have been told this, so I will be bringing the coconut oil. Speaking of pooping, I will be bringing diapers. I'm gonna be bringing two different sizes. This is a newborn size and this is like the next size up just because I have no idea how large she is going to be. Sometimes babies don't fit in the newborn diapers I've heard, so better safe than sorry. I'm gonna bring a couple options. Again, the birth center said to only bring like one diaper since I'm gonna be going home right after, uh, most likely. Um, so I'm gonna be bringing both options and they do have diapers at the birth center as well. Now something for me, I'm gonna be bringing my three-in-one postpartum recovery belt. This has like three different ones. I talked about this in a different video. I got this on Amazon. Um, I think I'm probably gonna wanna put this on pretty quickly after giving birth. So I'm definitely going to bring this with me. The birth center gave me a list of things to bring and they said to bring a receiving blanket. So I just grabbed this little guy that is super cute. It's got little llamas on it and it's already been in our house. It's got our microbes all over it. I've washed it here. So I'm gonna be bringing this and this is ready to go. Another thing I'm gonna bring is this guy. I shared this recently on a video. This is basically if the baby is just like sitting on the bed next to me or swaddled and I can put her in here and just lay her down knowing that she's super comfy and cozy. I really am still looking for an adult size version of this. So if you know where one is, let me know. This next item is so glamorous and so sexy. Um, these are uh, women's underwear. Um, I hear that these are just do the trick a lot better than a pad. So uh, a friend of mine gave these to me. They are small slash medium, so I feel like I'm gonna need a large, but I should probably try these on before I go. Uh, but this is what I will be rocking, so baby and I will both be in diapers. Styling. The birth center said that they prepare a, a peri bottle for me with witch hazel and a bunch of good stuff in it, so I may not use mine uh, there but I did bring the Freedom Mom Peri Bottle. One of you actually gifted this to me. Thank you so much for this super thoughtful gift. It came in the mail and I was really surprised and I'm super stoked to try this because I've heard this is like something you should not go into the hospital or birth center without because you're not gonna wanna use toilet paper. This next item I have been told over and over and over again, it is a must have and it's, you could make these yourself. Um, it is basically a perennial cooling pad liner, really great for hemorrhoids I heard. It's got um, witch hazel in it. So if you want, you can even just take regular pads and put witch hazel in it and kind of make those your own and then put them in the freezer. I've heard they are awesome and I'm so sorry about the dinging on my iPad. I need to turn this off. Couple other things for me, postpartum stool softener gummies and constipation tea. So I'm terrified to take my first poop after giving birth. Uh, don't know if I'm gonna rip, don't know if I'm gonna tear, don't know what's gonna happen. Might have stitches down there. So I think I'll be popping some of these and having some of this tea pretty quickly after giving birth so that uh, I can make sure I have the smoothest move possible. This is a um, heating or cooling pad. You can decide what you want to do with it. This is from Belly Bandit, which is a belly thing that you wear. I actually haven't really been wearing it, 
but this came in the package and I think this will be really nice. I'm probably gonna want cold compresses on me or warm ones, I'm not really sure. So I just thought this would be good to have um, just in case. Another thing for yourself that you might wanna bring is a little bag with hair ties, hair clips, something to put your hair back, um, a brush, that sort of thing. So that's what I have in here. Uh, I might want my hair down at some point. I might want it back. I don't really know how I'm gonna feel. So I'm gonna bring everything just so I'm prepared. This is another thing for me. I got this on Amazon. This is a little dress for labor and then you are able to get at your boob very quickly. I don't know if that made sense. So like that and then bam, your titties out. And that's pretty much what you're gonna wanna live in for the next uh, year. <laughs> so I thought the shortness of this was nice too because a lot of them were long. And I also liked this access right here. So you don't have to like hike the whole thing up if you're like bending down or leaning over or squatting or whatever. Uh, so I will most likely be wearing this, but in case I wanna be butt naked, I purchased these guys and I actually have these in a few different colors. They are just little, I have it in white, black, gray, and this nude. This is just like a super comfortable like little bralette. So if I just wanna be butt naked in the bathtub and just wear like a bralette, these are super, super comfortable. Pretty affordable too. These are also from Amazon. So I don't know, you can wear a bathing suit top. You can wear nothing if you want. Um, whatever is comfortable for you, that's what you're gonna wanna bring. But I've been wearing these and I love how comfortable they are. I don't even know that they're on. The birth center asked me to bring a couple um, blankets and stuff. So I'm bringing two different swaddles. I've already washed these as well. So my doula has just taught me how to swaddle a baby. So I think I'm good to go. Probably not, I probably need to practice a little bit. But I'm um, going to bring both of these so that we have options, but they've already been washed. They're super soft. They've got our microbes on them. Um, and the birth center explained that to me. It's basically like getting your like house cooties on stuff so that your baby's skin starts to get used to it. Last but not least, going home clothes. Okay, so this was hard for me to decide because a, I haven't really been shopping much for baby, uh, as crazy as that is. So I purchased a few things online and I'm actually going on Friday. Uh, so unless she comes like today or tomorrow, I'll have some more stuff um, for her to wear. But I've been bringing a few options because again, I have no idea how big she's going to be. Oh, this is a hat that goes with one of the little swaddles. It's so cute. So the first little outfit is a little newborn onesie. I've got this in a few different colors. So I'm going to bring this one. And then this outfit is a little more like cutesy, like let's take a photo kind of outfit. So I don't know if I'll even put this on her. It may not fit, it may be a little big. I thought it looked a little big for a newborn, but hey, again, I don't know how big she's gonna be. This has little shorts that go with it. And I'm gonna try to find some like little shoes on Friday or like little comfy socks or something to go with this as well. But that one also comes with like a little headband and this one I still need to wash. Then this next one came with this cute little like hello world, I'm here and you can write all of the information on here, date, time, length, weight. I think it came with this one and this one's super cute. It's like one of those long little worm ones. I don't actually know the verbiage for what, the, what, what this is, but it looks like a glow worm outfit. So uh, this one's super cute and it's got the little pieces that go over on the fingers. So the fingernails, so they don't scratch themselves. Um, apparently those fingernails are pretty freaking long when they come out. So a couple other things I'm bringing. Um, I've got some cute little headbands for pictures and just so everyone knows she's a girl. Uh, so I've got a white one and a pink one and these are just super, super, super soft. They're like almost like tights material. Then I've got this little guy and it ties at the bottom too. And it's also got the little um, protectors for the nails. And then that one also comes with a little hat, which is adorable. And it also comes with a blanket. So this is kind of like a complete set. So I feel like I'm leaning towards putting her in that right away, but I guess we'll just see what she fits in and what's the comfiest, but this material is so freaking soft. Okay, I'm gonna close off this video. I've been talking for literally 30 minutes. 
at you guys, but hopefully it was useful. Hopefully I helped give you guys a little bit of an idea or ideas of what you could possibly bring to make your own labor and delivery more comfortable. And if I missed anything or you guys have any great suggestions that I don't have in my bag or that you recommend, let me know in the description box. I mean the comment section, I always freaking say that. Let me know in the comments below if I missed anything, um, but thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you in the next video.